Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Red's World of Dolls and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic and fabulous your way. Guys, I hope that you're staying cool in this heat and that you're just, you know, finding some time to enjoy the hobby. You know, do what you gotta do to D to be happy, okay? <laughs> because, you know, sometimes life happens and, you know, that's what's happened to me and why I haven't been um, as active here on the YouTube channel. But I'm still doing the doll thing. I'm just not always having the time to drop in and, and share a video. But here I am today. Um, you can see in the backdrop a little um, stuff is going on with the Barbie Dream House that you normally see in my um, videos. Um, the Angel Cake and I last weekend, we did some work on it. We're decorating it for Halloween. You know, you guys are getting a little sneak peek of it, you know, once it's completely finished. And um, I don't have a whole lot more to do to it, but there are a few little touches that I want to add to it. And I'm going to give you guys a complete tour of it. And somebody asked me, um, you're starting to decorate for Halloween already? Yeah, especially when you're... Um, having to locate things and see what you got and, you know, pull it together. I mean, this is September. Halloween is, what, next month? And it's already the 9th of September. You know, and I like to get it done if I'm going to do it early. Because if I can't do it early, a lot of times I won't mess with it. Because I want the opportunity to have it up for a while and enjoy it. So, that's what we're doing, you know, and it's kind of, so you're seeing cobwebs, if that's what it is, because it looks like the lighting's off a little bit back there, but she and I had so much fun. She was with me last um, weekend, the holiday weekend, and we had such a ball, and you know, she has her touches on the house, and Mima's not changing it. Anything that she put in there, any design, it's there to stay. So, you know, I just love it. And you guys know that I had talked to you guys in a previous video about um, customizing this house. And I have not changed my mind about that. I'm just not in a rush to do it. I have decided on a color scheme for it. But, you know, it's going to take some time because I want to do it right. But in the meantime, I still love to keep my Barbie items as authentic as I can because, you know, I'm one of those collectors that I like for it to look the way it's supposed to look or the original look, rather. A lot of co uh, collectors, you know, they like the realistic look of things and I like that too and there are times when I do that but that's why I wanted another one of these houses because I wanted to customize it the way I wanted it. But right now, it's still the authentic Barbie color, but it's got a little haunted twist to it. So, that's what you're seeing in the background right there, right now. But I do have, as you can tell by the title, a little um, Timu miniature haul here for you guys. This haul, I want to say it's two to three um, orders, you know, because I've been ordering here and there. And I think I got three orders now that are going to be coming. I told you guys, excuse me, I have been bit by the Timu bug. I really like shopping at Timu. The prices are great. Um, if you have an issue with anything, they fix it immediately. You know, so I, I can't complain. Sometimes I'm a little disappointed. But, you know, overall, when you think about it, it's, it's a gamble. And you're not spending that much money. So, I got the basket here because, like I said, when the orders come, you know, I like to go ahead and try to open them to see if I have any issues so I can take care of it. And usually, if it's a little bitty issue, I don't make a big deal because usually it's going to be something in there that either gets broken or cracked or something. And I'm going to say that they pack it all together. And um, I don't know if when it gets to customs and they open it, because when we get it, it's re-taped up and a bunch of tape and it's packed tight. And I'm going to show you an item in a moment that has been affected by that. So that's my only biggest thing is that packages go through a lot in shipping. And if you've ever seen it, you know what I mean. So it kind of makes you think, well, that is why when they package and design items, they use so much excess paper and plastic to secure it because they know the travel that it's going to make and take to get to its 
um, destined, the final destination is going to have to be secure. So I'm still having fun with Timu. Um, I ordered things. I'm ordering things that are not just miniatures or doll items. I'm ordering house, household items, gifts. You know, I'm finding some, it's a lot of stuff on there. Now I'm going to start here with this little um, frizzy Lizzie. This is my Angel Cakes Mini Me. And you know, she's probably going to say, Mima, why you didn't fix her hair before you put her on YouTube? But I'm trying. You know, I'm trying. But this is her little Mini Me in my mini verse. And yes, her hair is a hot mess. I tried to um, hot water. I did a hot water dunk because I wanted to make it more textured and give it a more wavy, curly look. And it just went, it didn't do well for me. And, you know, so I'm either going to have to get her mom to style it for me because I'm not good at styling hair. But um, the doll is cute. And, you know, her hair is frizzy, but I think she's cute. I think when little girls' hair is all over the place and I call them frizzy lizards, I think they're adorable. But I wanted to show her to you guys because if you guys recall on one of my Timu orders, I ordered the ring that this is the ring that was the shape of eyeglasses and when I opened them I realized that they were going to be too small for my my one six scale dolls but I thought about my Chelsea's and they work great with a with a few adjustments you know you have to adjust and be careful because you don't want to break them but they work great for little Chelsea glasses and I have my mini me says I have to my little angel cake says I have to paint them purple because she has some glasses now. She has these cute little designer glasses and they are purple. She's so cute at them. But I have to do some I have to do that with her mini me. And but I had to tell her, your mini me is not exactly like you in the mini verse, baby. Your mini me is just a replica of you. I mean, she says, Mima, I don't care. You have to do her glasses. So I'm gonna have to do some customizing and make another pair. But they're really cute on the Chelsea dolls. You know, I have I'm having a little too much fun with her little doll so you know <laughs> but that's her mini me and I wanted to show you guys what I did with the ring you know so it didn't go to waste they're going to be glasses for her little mini so I'm going to customize different um different pairs of those so let's get the mini me out the way all right so let's start with what I got in this cart this this boss basket here so this let's start with this because I already opened it because I was disappointed when I got it because as you can see it's a bed um, one six scale. I'm gonna customize it. It's not gonna be pink, <laughs> but um, I think I paid three dollars and forty eight cent for this. But as you can see, it has a bend in it, and it was because, like I was saying, how when they package this stuff back in there and they pack it tight, they bend and break items, you know. And the bed frame is bent, and I'm hoping that once, you know, I do what I do to it, it won't have that wobble bend to it but the bed is really cute again it's plastic once I customize it and redo it it's gonna be great it comes in it comes apart and you just clip the headboard and stuff onto it and I've already done that and it works and then it comes with this little bedding this little you know little very cheapy fabric but of course this is gonna make its way to my angel cakes um Barbie dream house it's really cute you know, but, you know, it's not it's not for my mini verse. It's going to be for hers. So, it came with that. So, that was one item. And I ordered some more of these bikes. Now, this is the one that has the... Is this the one that has the two-seater? Yeah, this is the one that has the two seats. And, you know, you got to put it together. But I ordered two more of the regular size ones as well. Because, guys, I'm going to customize these bikes. I'm going to customize them. I've been trying to find ones already customized that would be 1-6 scale. And they're not 1-6 scale. So, I'm going to customize my own bikes. And, I mean, these bikes are pretty affordable. They're, like, less than $3. $2.48 or $2.19. Depending on whatever sale Timu's got. But this is a two-seater. And then this right here, I've already ordered one of these. So, now I have three of them. And this one is the one seater, the regular bike. And I have so many ideas for these bikes. And I'm just so ready to do it and, you know, get them in some photo stories. Okay? All right, so what's in here next? All right, this goes to another piece. Okay, so then I got this right here. Um, this, this I was really um, excited when I got this out and saw the size because this definitely 
It said 112 scale, but this is definitely going to work great in my 1-6 scale um, dollhouse. It came in two different colors. I wanted the dark wood, but they were sold out of that. So the white is great. You know, I can leave it white because I have an idea. Or either I can paint it if I want. Then it has this writing here but you can remove that if you want but I really like this and I don't know if this is actual wood if the material is wood but it's a very nice material um and I can't recall guys I don't even remember how much I paid for this but you can bet if it's in my haul I didn't pay much but I really like that and I was really you, you visualize how you think it's gonna look but until you actually see it in your hand you don't know all right, so these are more little um, wallets, keychain wallets, handbags. But as you can see, it doesn't work for the 1-6 scale. But I told you guys, I have lots of dolls. I could use this for my 18-inch dolls. I think this would be cute with one of my um, American Girl dolls. So that's that size. And I love that color. It's a cute little fall color. So I got those. I don't know what's in this basket because like I said, I've opened this stuff up and I've just been putting it in the basket. All right, so this is one of my favorite items. These are books. These are books and they were very affordable, very affordable. These are real miniature books. And as you can see, you got the little cover there and it's got the little plastic tape on there. But these are actual pages. Let me see if I can't slide this plastic off. I like the way it's packaged. All right, so it's an actual book. And you see the cover, Children's Book Week, November 15th to 2019, 20. I, I can't hardly see that writing. More books in the home. All right, so the cute little cover is just adorable. And the inside, the pages are blank. But it's an actual functioning book, as you can see. And I like that. And you can actually write on it and make your own story. So I like that. That's cute. All right, what's in here? All right, so this is a little vase. So this is smaller than I expected it to be. Really smaller than I expected. But like I said, once you put it on a piece of furniture in your um, dioramas, you can get away with it. So this is really cute. So I was disappointed in the size of that. All right, what we got here. All right, so this is something else for the kitchen. This is the little um, rack that holds the utensils, the large cooking utensils. And again, it is 112, but I still feel like I can put it on the counter in my kitchens, in my doll kitchens, and I can get away with it. And I have two of them, but I didn't mean to order two. <laughs> I thought they had sent me two by mistake, but when I went back and looked at my order, I actually ordered two. And this was like $3 and some change, so I ended up, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. And then this was larger than I thought. But again, you know, if you know how to work it in the um, photo, you can get away with it. This is a grater. And it's really nice. It's really nicely made. It is really a miniature grater. It's a real miniature grater. <laughs> and I like it. And it came in different colors. And a lot of the colors were sold out. So that's again, guys, if you see something you want, you can't wait because that stuff, that's not a gimmick. That stuff does sell out. I mean, because at the prices, the price point, you know, it's, it's going to happen. Let me put my little books back in there. But I think the books were my favorite. But I didn't show you guys. There's different um, covers. They're not all the same. They're not all the same. So here's a better shot at the covers. They're the same on the front and the back. But I just thought that was so cute. Then I got these little letters. These are actual letters. And they're plastic. And I got them in different colors. Let me show you the actual size of one of the letters. All right, so this is an M. So you can use these again. I don't, I have ideas for them, different ideas, and they're 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 made they're plastic, but they're nicely made. I got a gold bag, and they were very affordable. A gold, silver, and I got the multicolors. So I got three. I got one of each. 
yep and what we got here and then I ordered me a little lemonade lemonade pitcher with two glasses <laughs> Yes, and I'm so glad that it, it wasn't broken. And it's just, it's really cute. This is really nice. Really nice. And you can see the little slice of lemon in the glass. Looks like, yep. Yeah, that's really cute. So sometimes you get disappointed. Sometimes you don't. So I really like that. All right, what we got here? All right, so I love these. And I thought that I ordered another. I do. I love these. I love these. These are out there keychains, but you guys know what my idea for them are. I'm going to use them for my dolls. I love owls. Owls are one of my favorite animals, and I don't have a lot of favorite animals, but I really love the wise old owl, and I love these little bags. I love these. These are so cute. They are just adorable, and they're so nicely made. They're nicely made, and they do open, and they have a lot of room on the inside. You know, so you can use these for Barbies, Integrity toys. Hey, you can even use them for your little, um, for your 18-inch dolls. You know, it just depends on what, um, what you're using it for. But I really like these. I just like having these in my collection. Yes, I'm just a collector of miniatures now, I guess. Not buying as many dolls, but buying quite. And then I have it in the black with the red trim. And I just love those. I just love those. All right, and then I got these. And these are pretty big, but I just thought they were cute. Again, I'm loving the miniatures. So this is cute as well. I like that. It's bigger than I, it's bigger, but even when I ordered it, I knew that it was going to be a little bit large for the 1-6 scale. But again, I think I can still get away with it. And I do have other size dolls, but these are cute, even just to have in my collection. You know, and again, it's an actual keychain, but you can remove those. You know, we can remove the keychains. And I think I ordered those in several, I got several colors. So I have several colors of those. All right, so these are a set of bracelets. And I ordered these not for jewelry to wear for myself. And they were very affordable. They were like a dollar, a little over a dollar. I'm planning to use them for belts on my dolls for belts um for jewelry you know for the price i pay you know i can easily do that so this was like it's like four pieces or is it yeah it's four separate pieces and it's nicely done listen if you're looking for very affordable jewelry for yourself to just because you know it's not going to hold up long especially for the price point but if you take care of it you probably can wear it for quite a few times if you need to just throw on something to throw an outfit together and you need some accessories for it there you go <laughs> there you go and i mean these bracelets they're cute these bangles are cute but they're lightweight and they're cute and they were like a little over a dollar like a dollar and seven cents dollar seventeen cents and I ordered several different styles, I think. But my idea was to use them for um, doll accessories and jewelry. Yeah, because you know, we're always looking for ways to um, dress up our dolls. We got to be creative because, you know, the doll world doesn't give it to us. <laughs> Mateo doesn't give it to us and then a lot of times when you can find someone that does give it to you the price point is you know quite expensive because making miniatures handmade items you know they're quite they're quite a, they're quite it's a lot of time and effort goes into it and you got to pay people for their time so I'm not knocking knocking anyone for that. All right, so I ordered these keychains too. Now these were these these are game um, consoles, and um, I was hoping they weren't going to be this large, but I still feel like I can get away with it. They're not they're thinner than I thought they were going to be, but I'm still pleased because they were very they were again very affordable. Um, they're keychains, but they're game game console game ha handsets to play the games so you got that one and this is the actual game and then you got this one and you got that one and again they make great props 
That's what I'm saying. They make great props. If you're going to set up an arcade or a game room or something, you could get away. If you know how to stage these things for the price point, you know, you could get away with it. So I'm just seeing ideas, you know, seeing ideas. All right. So then here's some more jewelry. Now I'm thinking about using these for bracelets for my dolls, bracelets, chokers, necklaces, whatever. But these are actually ear pieces, ear jewelry that you put on your ears. That's what they had them on in the doll. The, the model had them on her ears. But these are going to make some adorable bracelets. These are some really nice pieces. And they come in different colors. And they were very affordable, less than a dollar. Some of them a little bit more affordable, um, costly than others. Now look at that. That's going to look beautiful on my doll's arm, on her wrists. Gorgeous. I mean, look at that. That's gorgeous. And it was less than a dollar. And I got them in, I got, I think I got several, um, several colors. Several colors. All right, let's move on so this video doesn't get to be so long. Okay, so again, there is another. Is that the same color? No, this one is rose gold. That one's rose gold. And then again, here is another um, five-piece, four-piece set of jewelry. This is the gold. And again, very nice. Um, I'm going to use it for doll accessories myself. But again, like I said... These make great jewelry to wear for yourself, you know. If you're one of these women that loves your jewelry, you would love this little um, affordable jewelry. Because it's, it's very nice. Well, well, not really nice for what you pay for. Alright, guys, look at these. I saw these. I had to get them. Because you guys know, I'm having a lot of fun with the Mini Me's Kitchen. I don't even know how to get this open. I don't even know how to have it open. But these are a pair of rubber gloves. Now, I think I paid like $2 for these little gloves. But these are actual gloves. Look at that. <laughs> and, you know, they do have a hole in there. And you probably could put your doll's hand in there partially, part of the way. But they will be cute to lay on the kitchen counter, on the kitchen sink, near the sink. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so, I got those. So, again, when I'm bored, I just get on my iPad and pull out, pull up the um, Timu app. All right, so this is a wall hanging, but I'm also going to use it for, um, for that in my dollhouse. And I want to put it on the wall so that it actually looks like a bookshelf with books on it. But it's a wall hanging, an ornament, and the... And the print is on both sides so I thought that was cute all right and then we got the little bike we got a little bike and I got this for my angel cakes little mini burst and as you can see again one of those items that came broken but you know I didn't make a big stink about it because I can just glue the little handle back on because if I made us think about the broke items, I would be doing it in every order because it's always a little broken something. But the little wheels turn. These little bikes are cute. I ordered a yellow one too that's around here somewhere. The angel cake was here, guys. So, you know, <laughs> it's probably over there in the Dollarama with the, with the, um, mini me, with her little mini me and the little Chelsea dolls. But I got that. Oh. Uh, and like I said, I told you guys, I ordered several of these in different colors. These are so cute. I like these. It's a good way to dress up your keys, too. If you like little cute things like this on your keys, here you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to open those because I already showed you guys one. I'm trying to get... Alright, so this is another bag. I already ordered this bag in another color. So I decided to go back and get the black one makes a great briefcase for the one six scale you know it's kind of big but you like I said you can get away with it so I wanted the black one oh uh, what else we got in here all right these are little plastic cases because as you can see all that little jewelry that I'm ordering for my dolls be nice to separate it when I'm not using it and these little plastic cases they're really cute they close up and these were very affordable as well I like clear and plastic containers 
I like to be able to see all of the stuff that I'm collecting. It makes it easy to find when I am looking through it. Now this was a um this was a bag that is a lot bigger than I thought. But again, like I said, it will be cute on a keychain if you want it on your keychain. I've gotten to the point where I try to go not have to carry a bag. Sometimes I don't even want to carry my crossbody bag. These are cute to throw on your keychain to put um your license, you know your debit card in there and close it up. But I've decided I'm going to use it for my 18 inch, my 18 inch AG dolls. These are cute. These are cute little bags. Cute little bags. So it doesn't go to waste, that's for sure. And it was very, very cheap. I want to say I think that bag was less than a dollar. Less than a dollar. All right, here is a pair of little rubber boots. <laughs> They're kind of small. I probably can use them for the petite doll. Might have to use them for a Chelsea. But I just got them because, again, like I said, when you're doing a photo and you're trying to set up a little scene, little things in the background like that at the back door, like my, my rain boots, my galoshes, whatever you want to call them, you know, wellies, it's different names for them. Mines are always at the back door. That's where I keep them. They're always at the back door. So how cute would that be when you're doing a photo in the mini verse to do the same thing? All right, so I got these little dresses. I got these chairs I want to show you guys. All right, so I got these. Now these were, I, I ordered three of these. And I think I already gave several to my angel cake. I only ended up keeping one for myself to show you guys. I ordered them and I really like them. They're actual 1-6 scale size that we can get away with. But all of mine came cracked and broken. And I gave her the ones that weren't cracked so bad. But the, act, the handle actually um, pulls up a little bit. The wheels don't roll. But you know, again, it makes a good prop. And you can pull the handle up and you can push it down. And it does open up and you can... Um, put stuff in it but it doesn't stay closed so that was a disappointment I don't know if it's because mine are broken but I probably won't try ordering any more of these so again they were like a dollar and seven cents so I was disappointed to get them and they were all cracked and broken in some form you know but I ended up giving them to my angel Kate to play with in her dollhouse and I ended up keeping that one to show you guys I don't know how that got in there, but this is something that I bought from the Dollar Tree that I've had. I didn't just buy this. I've had this, so I don't know. I don't know how they got in there. Again, like I said, guys, when the angel cake is here, anything can be in here. Anything can be in this box, this basket. Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, this goes to this, and then I got the chairs. All right, let me see what I got in here so I can pull it out. Push this back. So this ended up being a decent size little haul. But like I said, I think it's two or three hauls, guys. Two or three. All right, so this is a handheld weight, a barbell. I thought I was getting two. I didn't read the description well enough. That's my fault. But it's nicely made. And it was like, I don't know how much, but it was, the, because of the price point, I thought I was getting two. And I only got one, a barbell. And again, it's not metal, but it looks metal. And it's nicely made. All right, so that's a barbell. You got, I need two barbells, right? So I got to order another one, right? <laughs> thought I was getting two, I got one. All right, so let me show you guys these little plastic chairs. I, well, guys, the camera stopped, so... Here we are again. So let's finish this video on up. All right. So we got these little plastic chairs. I think these are so cool. And again, like I said, I ordered these in black as well now because I got the white ones and I like them so much that I decided to order the black. Now these chairs were four bucks a piece. You know, a lot of people might say that's too much. But, you know, I like them. I think they're really nice. And I like them and I couldn't make this design myself and get it that clean cut but I really like these white chairs yes they have these chairs with a table as well but I haven't found the table but I would love to have the table too but 
I like that. I ordered two of them. And they were, like I said, they were $4 a piece. Yep. And then this here is a... Let me show you guys what this is. It's a briefcase. <laughs> it's a briefcase. A functioning briefcase. And of course, you know, I'm going to use it for one six scale. You can use it for a suitcase. It's kind of big for a briefcase in the one six scale world because, you know, it's pretty big. So it could be a suitcase. And again, like I said, it actually opens. It opens. See how the little handles pop like a real case. And that's how it looks on the inside. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and I got it in two colors. And it closes back up. I'm not sure what color this is. Black. So I got it in black. So I really like that too. Now those were like $4 too. Those were like 4 bucks a piece. Now let me show you guys this. Now I already plugged this up to my computer. And let me see if I can get that. Show you guys in the video. Because I know you guys want to see what it looks like because it's it's beautiful it's beautiful i was a little disappointed in the guitar the the make of the guitar because in the picture you know i didn't look at it i guess that well i thought it was going to be an actual miniature guitar but it's not you see what it is now let me see if i can hook it here on my laptop so that you guys can see how it works. All right, it doesn't have a switch. Oh, yes, it does. It does have a switch. All right, so that's how the guitar looks. It's really cool. It's really pretty. And it really looks nice in the dark. And you have to hook it up to... It's a, um, it's, it has to be hooked up to the computer... And it's really cute. I guess it's sort of like a night lighter or something. But it's really nice. But I was really disappointed when I saw that the guitar was made flat like that. But when you see... And you have to remove the sticker. And it has a covering over it as well. And I don't want to take that off because I don't know when I will be using it. But I did get it. And I want to put it in one of my dollhouses. <laughs> so there you go. That's that. All right. This video has went on and on. Let's see what else we got. I got a couple of doll dresses in here. A couple of more little pieces of jewelry. And what's in this box? Forgotten what's in this box. Alright, let's see. Alright, so this here is more um, jewelry for the dolls. I'm going to use it for the dolls anyway. So it's more pieces that you put on the um, ear, ear jewelry. But you guys know what I'm using it for. And this was hair pieces for the hair. But again, I'm going to use it for my dolls for jewelry. And then I got it in gold. And then this is another piece of regular jewelry for an adult that I'm going to use the pieces for jewelry for my dolls. So that's what that is. And let's see what this last piece is. Okay. I was very disappointed when I got these because I didn't take the time... To, I was just looking at the picture. Um, I could use this as furniture in my doll houses, but I was kind of hoping I was going to be able to use them to display my dolls on one of my shelves to give it height. You guys know what I'm doing because it's three different shelves and it has a plastic covering over it. So that's why it doesn't look so shiny. It has a protective cover. So I was disappointed that they weren't larger than they were. So, <laughs> yeah, so that was disappointing. So I do think that, no, let me show you guys the dresses. I told you guys I don't usually mess with Timu's doll clothes because, you know, it doesn't meet my standards. But I wanted, I saw this dress on one of the dolls and I thought about it for my IT dolls as well because I'm all, because they're usually on display. Those feathers impressed me. <laughs> but this is it. That's not so bad. Look. I got exactly what I thought I was going to get. <laughs> so the top part is like stretchy. And it does have Velcro in the back. And then it has this feather bodice. Isn't that cute? It's cute. 
And it was like $2, I think. So that's not so bad. That's cute. I like that. And that's going to look good on one of my IT dolls. Or one of my Barbies. And then I got this one. And this one's like a cotton fabric. Got a little bow on the front. And for the price point, it seems to be nicely done, guys. Got to get my little iron, my little mini iron, and iron out these wrinkles. Velcro closure. And I do like that bow on the front. And I want to say this color. Is this color green or blue? I don't know. Thought it was black. But it doesn't look black now that I have it on camera. But that's cute. So I ordered those two little dresses. But like I said, I usually don't mess too much with the clothing there. Because the clothing is, you know, not my, it doesn't meet my standards, you know. That's, that's, that's what I want. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> but I do, that's it, guys. Um. That's the haul. That's like two. I want to say this is like two hauls. This is like two or three hauls. And I did have some other stuff in there that was for the house that I didn't show you guys. But I do think that's the end of the video. What do you think, Angel Cake? The mini me. Angel Cake in the mini verse. <laughs> so, guys, that concludes this video. I think this video was a lot longer than I um, expected it to be. You know, it went on a lot longer than expected, but I had more stuff in here to show you guys than I thought that I had. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys everything. And then, like I said, I have two or three more orders and some of the stuff is not doll related. So if it's not doll related, you know, I don't, you know, I don't think you guys are interested in it. You know, house stuff, you know, I just, I don't even show that unless it's a really good item that I think that I might want to share. So... Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that you guys enjoyed the sneak peek of the the dream, the haunted dream house back there. I'm telling you guys, I had so much fun last weekend. I was so tired and so exhausted from working the first full week with the kids back and, you know, waking up at four and running a bus route before I go to work and then in the afternoons as well. And my work day is really mentally and physically exhausting now you know we have a new situation that takes a lot out of all of us so you know it was a little bit overwhelming but i had to come home last friday and cut my mow my lawn because the angel cake was coming you know and i'm not going to turn down any time with the angel cake you know we had that three-day weekend because of the holiday and it was so relaxing she and i in here pulling this haunted house thing together. I was just, it was just so relaxing. And I've come in here each day after work and I just sit here and I just look at it and coming up with more ideas and what I need to add. And it's just so much fun and relaxing. You know, and for me, that's what the doll hobby is all about. You know, it's just, it's what makes you happy. And this makes me happy. I am proud of myself that I have cut back on the dolls so much and I'm enjoying the dolls I got because I'm realizing that I have so many dolls so I'm just trying to do enjoy those dolls I'm buying the miniatures but I don't spend that much on this little stuff you know this stuff doesn't cost as much as what I do when I spend on dolls and I've just about purchased everything that I want right now unless they restock new items on Timu you know, I'm looking and I'm like, well, I've already bought that, you know, what I want. So I'm kind of reaching the point there where they don't have anything, but they have a lot of other stuff too that is, um, that you can buy just for yourself, not just for your dolls. But that's where I'm at, guys. That's where I'm at. I'm, it's just been so hot that it's just unbearable. I mean, it's just unbearable. The heat is, I think God, every day I walk in my house from work and I feel the air condition when I open the door because it is truly a blessing, guys. It really is. And um, some of our schools here, not in my area, but, you know, here in North Carolina, you know, about two hours from me, a couple of the schools had to shut down because the air conditions broke. And it was extremely too hot for the children and the staff to even be in the building. So that tells you how hot it is. When it is so hot that you can't function without air condition, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. It is hot. So I don't have any new dolls um, 
in the works, guys, other than my pre-orders of the weird Barbie and the um the Ken and the fur coat. Um, those are the only dolls that I have, you know, on radar. I'm still waiting and hoping that I can get the roller blade Ken and Barbie and um it was another doll from that movie that I was wanting. I can't even remember who it was. Um the Maria Felix doll. I did not get her. She sold out. And I'm hoping that I'm able to get her. But, you know, again, if I don't, fine. Because you have to accept that you can't get them all. I was at work when she dropped. When I got home, she was sold out. And, you know, she became available on Amazon. She sold out before I could get her. She sold out on Target before I could get her. And, you know, I'm just going to wait to see if she restocks. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. But... I don't know when I'll be back because I don't know unless like a Timu haul. But I wanted to just drop in to my doll fam to say hi and share a little bit of the junk, as my grandbaby says, that I'm adding to my mini first with you guys. <laughs> guys, you know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. We are Ruby Red's World of Dolls there. Guys, continue to be awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you awesome, amazing people in my next video.